I'm Richard Retro Gamer here, and now I'm playing on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on PlayStation One. Um, and the thing is, though, we didn't know option. Hence, I've been playing this game for quite a few times. We didn't know option. Thank you very much. To actually save the results, you know, on the score. There's us volume, screen just, and main menu. Excellent. Anyway, so let's crack on with the game. I'd say I'm not very knowledgeable, but I'll give it a go. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. Oh, I do love playing this game. I mean, I do lo love watching game quizzes. What name is given to spectacles for both near and distant vision? Alright, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50 50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. A, B, C. It's definitely bifocal, so it'd be D. Are you happy with that? Yes. It's good. You've got £100. Here's question two, it's worth £200. What do 16 ounces equal? Alright, take your time, you've still got all three lifelines, you've still got 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Just saying D, okay. You happy to go orange? It's good for £200. You're doing well. You're just 13 questions away from a million. Look at this for £300. Where does a patient normally go to consult a GP? Alright, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Surgery. You're saying D. Okay. You happy to go orange? Well done, you've got £300. Right, you're 12 questions away from a million. Now, this one is worth £500. Take your time, have a look at it. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Is it orangutan or gorilla? I think orangutan's massive, aren't they? I think they're bigger than a gorilla. Are you happy with your answer? I think it's wrong, it just means I have to start from the beginning. Or... Okay, right, using up your lifeline. Ask the audience, all vote now. Well, they obviously think it's D. It's your choice. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? That's not orangutan then, so it's got to be gorilla. Are you confident? Correct, you've got 500 quid. Well done. You've still got two lifelines, 50-50 and phone a friend. OK, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. Do 
Same D. Okay. You happy to go orange? Well, you seem pretty sure as you went for your first big milestone, the £1,000. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. I'm really sorry. You go home with absolutely nothing. C is the right answer. I thought it was Goblin Tower. Oh, that was definitely an early exit. Okay. No, no, we're going on. That's better. Okay, now I know now. <laughs> right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from £1 million. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for £100. Not so I'm just playing this for fun. Not so I don't mind for loads of or win or lose or whatever, you know. I mean I didn't even get over grand, I'd like to get over one thousand pounds. Anyway, first question again. What is usually put in a vase? Flowers. Right, games flowers. Well, I just have to restart the game because it froze. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. Which of these places would fire homes be situated? It'd be A, Caravan Park. So you think it's A? Well done, nice and easy, you've got £100. Have a look at this, it's worth £200. What is known for judges' room for hearing private cases? You're going for D. It's right, you've got two hundred pounds. Chambers. Right, so far so good. Take a look at this for three hundred quid. Which mythological carpet is able to transport people through the air? Alright, you think it's B. Are you happy with that answer? Well done, you've got £300. Right, question four of 15 coming up. You're doing fine. Take your time, have a look at this for £500. Which shop sells hardware such as tools and household implements? All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Okay, you're going for C. Are you happy? That's the right answer for £500. <laughs> Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to, that's what they're there for. Okay, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. Just be aware, this is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. So take as long as you need. I think it's D, but I'm not quite sure. I've never heard of that. Okay, right, using up your lifeline. Ask the audience, all vote now. Well, they obviously <laughs> think it's D. Well, I wanted to make sure I was definitely well, that's an overwhelming indication 100% the right, audience, but, what but does it I'm still not quite sure. You don't have to go along with their answer, it's entirely up to you. I should have gone with my instincts. I thought I've never heard of that NUT. And 
my Ingram's telling me, teacher, and I was right, but I'm not quite 100% sure. But that's what the last ones are there, so definitely doing Are you happy with that? Yes. If this answer is correct, you are guaranteed to leave here with at least £1,000. Well done, it is the right answer. That's a thousand pounds in the bag guaranteed, but let's try and double that with the next question. You might as well play this. You've got nothing to lose. You're guaranteed one thousand. This one is for two thousand pounds. Which area of London is said to take its name from a ball game? Take your time and remember you've still got two lifelines. You've got 50-50 and you've got phone a friend. So it's time to have a comment go on my fur. Right, let's try and help by narrowing the choice down for you. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please, leaving just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Well, that's left you with A or B to choose from. I say it's palm oil, then. Are you confident? You've just won £2,000. So I would have been wrong if I chose the Common Garden of Mayfair. Something was telling me it was quite Common Garden, but... It's a good thing I chose that 50-50. You are now just nine questions away from one million pounds and starting to look at some of the uh, bigger jumps. But remember, the drops are pretty steep as well. Take a look at this for 4,000 pounds. Okay, you want to phone a friend. Now let's call them, but remember you don't have to go along with what they say. One of my right relations would know this. Hello? Hello Debbie, this is Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi Chris. We've reached a fairly tricky question, now your friend needs you to help them to go beyond £4,000. Alright Chris. Now I hope you're ready for this, here comes the question Debbie. Cerebral, it's a brain thing. They never said I was cerebral at school, but I'm still able to give the right answer here. Debbie, that's great. Thanks for helping out. Debbie suggested D. Now you need... Are you happy with your answer? Congratulations, you just won £4,000. Oh, thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim, virtual friend. You know, I've used the bomb law finds now, so I'm really going to struggle. The next question takes you past the halfway mark for the 15 correct answers you need for £1 million. Good luck. Here it comes for £8,000. So it's time it's snow. So this question is for £8,000. You don't have to play this. Just be aware that a wrong answer would cost you £3,000 of the £4,000 you've got at this moment. But I am going to clue. So I'm just going to have to walk away. 
Are you sure you want to walk away? Yes. Oh well, this one, this one, four thousand. But nothing. <laughs> okay. Let's have another go. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from one million pounds. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for 100 pounds. Well done, nice and easy. You've got 100 pounds. Yeah, I knew that one. Take a look at this for two hundred pounds. It's good for two hundred pounds. No, oh, need that one. <laughs> You're doing well. You're just thirteen questions away from a million. Look at this for three hundred pounds. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. You don't have to play this if you don't want to. Is that your final answer? I can't believe this, but I'm afraid that's not the right answer. The I answer is B. I thought it was India. Oh, you yeah, could... Oh. Okie dokie. <sighs> Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth one. I apologise for that, my st stupid mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'll start again. So, according to the proverb, an Englishman's home is what? Well, it's his castle. Well done, nice and easy. You've got one hundred pounds. Here's question two. It's worth two hundred pounds. What is the name given to a person who drops an easy catch? You think it's B. Are you happy with that answer? It's good for £200. I was going to go then for slip of fingers, but I thought, no, it's butterfingers, isn't it? Right, so far, so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. I still got B4000, though. What type of creature is a dogman pincher? Dog. So you think it's A? Well done, you've got £300. Now, you've got 300 quid, but you could still go away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, and I hope you don't. But have a look at this next one. It's worth £500. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Is that your final answer? Well, you've got three right so far, nice and confident. But I'm afraid that's as far as you can go. It's the wrong answer. Oh. I should have chose life. The answer is A. Well, I didn't know it was Jacob. I thought it was Joseph. I never heard of Jacob. I suppose I'll have to play again then. I'm not very good at all. <laughs> I've still got to beat 4,000. Thank you very much.
Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from £1 million. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for £100. And I think I'm going to have to use lifelines. <laughs> Which soft logo I've been saying is uttered by a contented cat. Per. So you're saying B? Of course it is. You've got 100 feet. Take a look at this for £200. Where does a patient normally go to consult a GP? You're to, going to start that question. To start that question. It's correct. You've got 200 quid. Now, here's question number three for £300. You're absolutely right for £300. Right, question four of 15 coming up. You're doing fine. Take your time, have a look at this for £500. I have got clear on this one. All right, take it up. Okay, right, using up your lifeline. No, I'm no good at job for it. Now. Oh, look at that. That's almost too close to call. Thanks, audience. Are you confident? You're right, you've got £500. You've still got two lifelines, 50-50 and phone a friend. Now, the next question guarantees you £1,000 if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. Just be aware, this is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. So take as long as you need. Okay, you want to go 50-50? Use your lifeline computer. Take away two wrong answers, please. Leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. A and D go. B and C are left. Are you confident? If the answer is correct, you win at least £1,000. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. It's wrong. You win nothing. The answer is B. Tatler. Never heard of a Tatler. Oh, I'm not doing very good, am I? I still got to beat 4,000. Okie dokie. Not, not doing very good this time. Mind you, I don't I not do very good on this game anyway. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth Even though I just love playing it. I mean, I still got to beat 4,000. I thought that was pretty good. So, as long as I try and beat 4,000. It's good, you've got £100. Have a look at this, it's worth £200. It's correct, you've got 200 quid. You're doing well, you're just 13 questions away from a million. Look at this for £300. You're going for D. You're absolutely right for £300.
Now, you've got 300 quid, but you could still go away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, and I hope you don't. But have a look at this next one. It's worth 500 pounds. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50, phone a friend, and ask the audience. Okay, you're going for C. Are you happy? Correct, you've got 500 quid. Well done. Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to. That's what they're there for. Okay, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. Just be aware, this is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. So take as long as... Is that your final answer? Well done, you just guaranteed yourself a thousand pounds. I wasn't quite sure on that one, but... Ooh, thought of her a bit ravenous, hungry. Well done, you've got a thousand pounds. Now that's guaranteed whatever happens now, you'll walk away with at least one thousand pounds. But have a look at this next question. You might as well play it. It's worth two thousand pounds. Alright, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50 50, phone well, a friend, piece... and ask the audience. Why well, is a piece of metal that swings inside a bell? To sound the arts. To sound the strike. I think it's a clipper. I'm not quite sure. Okay, right, using up your lifeline. Ask the audience. All vote now. Well, they're all confident it's C. They think C is the right answer. What well, did that's I a say? I said clipper, didn't audience, I? But what does it indicate? You don't have to go along with their answer. It's entirely up to you. Are you happy with that? You had a thousand pounds guaranteed. You've now got two thousand pounds. Oh, thank you, audience. And I said clipper, so I'd be wrong. It's a clapper. Okay, now it's getting rather serious. The money starts to go up and up at this point rather fast. You've got two thousand pounds. You're nine questions away from one million pounds. This question is worth £4,000. Yeah, I'm just hoping I get it right. Take your time and remember you've still got two lifelines. You've got 50 50 and you've got phone a friend. I don't know on this one. Okay, you want to phone a friend. Now let's call them, but remember you don't have to go along with what they say. Hello? Hi, Lisa. It's Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We've reached a fairly tricky question. Now, your friend needs you to help them to go beyond £4,000. No problem, Chris. Now, are you ready for this? Here's the question of four possible answers, one of which is the right answer. I thought a company was anyone who came from London. Um, what if I guess? 
uh, I'll say St. Peter and Vincula because it sounds very important. Sorry about that. Good luck anyway. Thank you very much for your time. Well now, Lisa liked answer A, but remember that doesn't mean necessarily it's the right answer. Yeah, because so, she, she can, can be wrong. wrong. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please, leaving just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. So, is it A or C? Are you absolutely sure? Oh, I'm sorry, it's the wrong answer. C is the right answer. Mm. See, I told you, it could be wrong on here and give you the wrong answer. Well, you've won yourself a thousand. <laughs> Turn another go. Excellent. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from one million pounds. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for 100 pounds. I don't know. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got... You're saying D. Okay. You happy to go orange? It's the easiest question of the lot, and you've got it wrong. C is the right answer. I didn't know. I ain't heard that one. Yeah, play again. I didn't know Thank that you one. Much. I say it's only easy if you know the answer. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. I still got to beat £4,000. Of course it is. You've got £100. Quid. Take a look at this for £200. Alright, take your time. You've still got all three life. You think it's B. Are you happy with that answer? I'm very sorry. It's an early exit for you. It's the I wrong answer. I proceeds is forward. J-K-L. Oh, does it mean not like proceeds after? Oh, Excellent. duh. Uh, help. <laughs> right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from one million pounds. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for 100 pounds. God, I'm doing bad on this t this one. I've still got to be four thousand. Which mean which word means both a musical instrument and to cook the books? All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got fifty-fifty. Phone a friend and ask the audience. I ain't heard that one. Okay, right, using up your lifeline. Ask the audience. All vote now. Well, they obviously think it's D. It's your choice. So it's up to you entirely. What do you think? Well, the 1% could be right. <laughs> Are you sure you want to play this? It's good. You've got £100. This would be an early exit as well, because she used one lifeline, but I didn't know that one. Here's question two. It's worth £200. In which sport is the name title associated? Golf! It's correct. You've got 200 quid. 
Go on, don't we concentrate on this one? Right, so far so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. We should use this popular food. You're absolutely right for 300 pounds. Right, you're 12 questions away from a million. Now this one is worth 500 pounds. Take your time, have a look at it. Take your time and remember you've still got two lifelines. You've got 50-50 and you've got phone a friend. You think it's B. Are you happy with that answer? Correct, you've got 500 quid. Well done. You've still got two lifelines, 50-50 and phone a friend. Right, just be careful. This is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. You are now 11 questions away from one million pounds. This is worth 1,000 pounds. Here it comes. Just be aware, this is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. So what is the name of the Hunchback of Notre Dame? So it's telling me it's Quasimodo. Okay, you want to go 50-50, use your lifeline computer, right. take away two could, wrong answers. It could please. be Figaro. Leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. I've never seen the film. So, it looks like it. Are you confident? You seem pretty sure. You're right to be sure. You just won a thousand pounds. So, congratulations. You're now guaranteed a thousand pounds no matter what happens. Okay, going on. Question six is for two thousand pounds. What nationality was the novelist John Steinbeck? Now take your time. You can still phone a friend if you want to. Yes, I think I will. Okay, you want to phone a friend. Now let's call them, but remember you don't have to go along with what they say. I mean, if I took a guess, I'll just walk away a thousand. Hello? Hi Rob, this is Chris Terran from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi Chris. I've got your friend here. They're on £2,000. They need your help to get up to £4,000. Far away, Chris. Okay, here we go, Rob. You'll see the question and four answers, only one of which is right. Oh, yes, Steinbeck. We did him at school, the Gates of Wrath. He was an American. Yeah, definitely. Best of luck. Okay, Rob, that's great. Thanks for your help. Bye, mate. Well, now, he's saying C. Rob thinks you should pick answer C. Are you absolutely sure? You had a thousand pounds guaranteed, you've now got two thousand pounds. You're doing brilliantly. You got two thousand pounds, but take a look at this next question for four thousand. Jane Seymour, Angela Lansbury. Well, if, if I'm wrong, I'll just have to go away a thousand again. I'll go with Angela Lansbury. Are you sure you want to play this? 
Oh, I've walked by a thousand. It's the right pounds. answer. You've oh. got four thousand pounds. Well done. Oh, wicked. <laughs> I thought, thought it would be either Art oh, but Anderley or James um, Stone because I've never seen the show. Oh, that was good. That was a guess. <laughs> Right, you're doing well, you're doing brilliantly. You've got £4,000 at this moment. The next question is worth £8,000. Here it comes. Right, let's see if I can get this one right. Golden Temple. I don't think it's Christianity. Could it be Islam, Sikhism, or Hinduism? Oh, I haven't got a clue on this one, so. So, this question is for £8,000. You don't have to play this. Just be aware that a wrong answer would cost you £3,000 of the £4,000 you've got at this moment. Oh, I haven't got a clue. I'm going to have to walk away. Are you sure you want to walk away? Yes, because I haven't got a clue. That's great. Good luck. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. Going to well done, nice and easy. You've got one hundred pounds. Oh, I had that question. <laughs> so some questions. Take a look repeated. at this. Two hundred pounds. It's good for two hundred pounds. Here's question number three for three hundred pounds. Which phrase? All right, take your time. You still got all three lifelines. You still got fifty-fifty. Phone a friend and talk to the audience. The word play. Flow. I okay, think it's word play. Ask the audience. All vote now. Well, now D gets the audience's vote as the most likely, but it's your choice. Well, there's a definite leader there. Are you happy with that? You've got three hundred pounds. Thank you, audience. I thought it was worth play, so it's a good picture. Right, question four of fifteen coming up. You're doing fine. Take your time. Have a look at this for five hundred pounds. Who has TV game show? Seven Supermarket. Darwinton. You're saying D. Okay. You happy to go orange? You're right, you've got £500. You've still got two lifelines, 50-50 and phone a friend. Now, the next question guarantees you £1,000 if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. You're saying D, OK. You happy to go orange? Well, you seem pretty sure as you went for your first big milestone, the £1,000. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. I'm really sorry, you go home with absolutely... I thought you had a saxophone. C is the right answer. Oh, trumpet. I thought you had a saxophone. <sighs> oh, I suppose I'll play again now. Thanks a million. Still got to beat 4,000. 
Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from £1 million. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for £100. It's good, you've got £100. Here's question two, it's worth £200. You're going for D. It's correct, you've got 200 quid. You're doing well, you're just 13 questions away from a million. Look at this, for £300. You're going for D. You're absolutely right for £300. Right, you're 12 questions away from a million. This one is worth £500. Take your time, have a look at it. You're going for D. Correct, you've got 500 quid. Well done. Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to, that's what they're there for. Right, just be careful. This is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. Mm. You are now 11 questions away <laughs> from quite a few times, pounds. Chris. <laughs> this is worth £1,000. Here it comes. Just be aware, this is the last point at which you could go away with absolutely nothing. So take as long as you need. Are you sure you want to play this? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but you're wrong. It's the wrong No, answer. it's red. It looks like a red knot. Then what's the one with the red? Oh. That's great. Now, I hope you're ready for this. Here comes your first question. It's worth £100. See, my IQ is not very good. <laughs> what is the name of a system of transmitting messages between computer terminals? So, you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? Of course it is. You've got 100 quid. Have a look at this. It's worth 200 pounds. So you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? It's right. You've got 200 pounds. Here's question number three for three hundred pounds. So you think the right answer is C? Are you sure? I can't believe this. No, it's, it's not bundle. I was thinking like a bundle of flowers. It isn't, yeah, is it? It's it bunch. Oh no, this is bad, isn't it? What's up my intellect like, Larry? Thank you very much. Bunch. I thought it was bundle of flowers. Not like a bunch of crap. Oh, that. Oh, that. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from £1 million. <sighs> you ready to play? Have a look at this for £100. I wasn't on clearing some ears, but totally dumb on others. What? 
Rationally adorn the heads of a reindeer. Well done, nice and easy, you've got 100 pounds. I don't know what adorn means, never mind that, the rest of the question. <laughs> Take a look at this for 200 pounds. What describes Joseph's dream code and technical... Joseph's an am amazing technical dream boat. So you think it's A? It's right, you've got 200 pounds. Right, so far so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. What's a specific name for the back of a bound book? All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Connor, wise finger. Spine of a book. Okay, you're going for C. Are you happy? Well done, you've got 300 pounds. I'm going to say, book's got a spine, and I think a spine is what we are. Now, you've got 300 quid, but you could still go away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, and I hope you don't. But have a look at this next one. It's worth 500 pounds. The rich port is the French city of Le Mans Associated. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. Le Mans, friend, 24 hours. Students. So it's Mark Racing. You're saying D. OK. You happy to go orange? That's the right answer for £500. <laughs> Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to, that's what they're there for. OK, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. Fish named Wanda. Fish. Okay, you're going for C. Are you happy? If this answer is correct, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least £1,000. Well done, it is the right answer. Well done, you've got a thousand pounds. Now that's guaranteed, whatever happens now, you'll walk away with at least one thousand pounds. But have a look at this next question, you might as well play it, it's worth two thousand pounds. Let's hope I can get one right, man. I've got all three lifelines intact. Let's see if I can try and beat four thousand, that's my target. What's the unit of currency in Denmark? Drachma in it. All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. I'm not quite sure. I think it's a drachma. I okay, think. right. Using up your lifeline. Ask the audience. All vote now. Well, now, D gets the audience's vote as the most likely, but it's your choice. Well, there's a definite leader there. What as if your answer's wrong? Okay, you want to go 50 50, use your lifeline computer, take the audience away could be wrong. answers, please. Leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. So that's left you with C and D. Final answer. You've just won £2,000. Yeah, but the audience can be wrong. So I wasn't quite sure, and I was right. So maybe I've spaced that 50 50, but oh well. I wanted to make sure. Okay, I was... now it's getting rather serious. The money starts to go up and up at this point rather fast. You've got £2,000, you're nine questions away from £1 million. This question is worth £4,000. <laughs> I don't think I'll even get there. I'll even struggle on the, I'll even struggle on the first question, Chris.
Now take your time. Ten. You think it's B. Are you happy with that answer? You had £2,000. I'm afraid you now haven't. You've just given me the wrong answer. You've lost £1,000. I, I thought, I thought it was... D. 12. I thought it was a decky gun. Like a docky gun. So, are you leaving us today with a cheque from... Oh, well. Excellent. Let's start again with who wants to be a millionaire? Let's not, Chris. I, I've had so many times and I've only got 4,000. I'm going to have to do better next time, <laughs> if I can, not so. Well, that was, who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> no one passes from on. So, I shall say, ta-ta, cheerio, take care, sayonara, au revoir. Stay tuned, farewell, and goodbye.